All right, welcome back to this uh, challenge where we play on 100% Byte Revolution from the start on a fairly completely default settings map. Last time we took out our first two spitter spawners over here, which we could do because they don't have any physical armor. But now we're going to need to prepare to take out these biter spawners, or at least some biter spawners here, with behemoth biters, who have 12 physical armor. So we cannot do that just yet, we first need to make some military signs, and uh, meanwhile hope they don't send behemoth biters our way, which they are not going to do. Because so far we are lucky and we are only polluting spitter spawners. So that is a good thing. But as soon as we start polluting biter spawners, uh, that sp uh, spells trouble on the horizon. So let's just get on with it. Last time we made 1600 red and green signs and we decided we were, we were going to make 1000 um, military signs. So let's reset all these assemblers with this funny simple trick. And we gather anything which was well, still stuck in those assemblers by just resetting the recipe. Then we are going to need, I think, 5,000 stone bricks. Let's see. A wall is 5 stone bricks and we need 1,000 walls for 1,000 military signs. And that is 6,000. So let's make... Um, Let's make 1200 walls then. This is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have uh, some walls for personal use as well for when we start uh, going on the offense. Right, that is almost all our stone bricks. Let's put them here. And they are already done. Alright, so I guess we can just collect them like this again. Yes. No, we're missing 20 walls. I guess I missed one assembler. But that's alright, we have 1000 walls for military signs. Next we will need 1000 grenades. No, no wait. We need 500 grenades, right? Yeah, military science requires. Mix two packs from two walls, one grenade and one piercing round. So we need 500 grenades. How many we can make in one assembler at a time? Five. Because coal stacks to 50 and it's 10 coal. So this is 25, 50, 100. 200 250 all right we're just gonna do two passes then so actually let's do then let's change that one two three four and then we can keep using these for something else while all the grenades are uh, crafting so that is 50 assemblers 48 plus two then we need a lot of coal. Let's put our personal walls in our attack chest. Let's get rid of some stuff. Inventory management is fairly important, I would say. For this kind of playstyle. We have already finished uh, filling those chests with coal. I don't think I should be doing more coal. Right, let's get rid of my personal other stuff. First fill grenades. And we are going to need another times that much coal. I think we have enough coal for that though. Yeah, we do. Alright, we don't need to worry. And then we need iron plates to start crafting grenades. So just half a stack of iron plates will be enough for all grenades. Yeah, that can make 10 grenades, we just need to refill coal once. 
And then the last thing we are going to need is a lot of red ammo, 500 again, but in reality we are going to need much, much more. Because um, <laughs> we are also going to need a lot of red ammo for the attack itself. I think several thousands of red ammo we want to make. So the question is, how much do we still have? We need to refill the furnaces. They are starting to run out. And we need to be producing at all time. That is the, the plan. Right, and now our coal is basically non-existent, right? Is that not exactly enough coal? That is exactly enough coal. <laughs> okay, maybe we should up our coal buffer a little bit. Because we just spent all of our coal, four full chests on grenades and refilling the furnaces. And it's gone. <laughs> Alright, let's do one more round of uh, yellow ammo and I guess we are going to build a better area for steel furnaces. Okay, let's... Um, Grab back my personal stuff and just speed up this process a little bit. Okay, we do have uh, some cobbles all still left in the steel furnaces. How many furnaces do we have? 50 still. 56. I guess maybe we could do like this. That is 48 furnaces. That means we can process one and a half chest of steel into oh, one and a half chest of iron into steel at any one time. So let's grab back my coal again. That is not quite 48 stacks, so we'll go with half stacks. And then we're gonna grab one and a half chest of iron. Put away the wood, we have some stone again. Then we can put away our personal stuff. Let's collect all the grenades. And we should have 500 grenades by then. 492. Aha, 500. I knew it. Alright, then we just need the uh, red ammo. But for that we need a lot of steel and we haven't started smelting steel yet. So let's do that first. Let's see, that's 4800. Well, 5 should be about nine, almost 1000 steel. Almost 1000 steel that will be. So how much iron do we still have? Not that much. Two chests. Three chests, about three chests. And we're gonna need a lot of copper as well. Copper we have plenty it looks like. Right, I'm wondering, should I make some more ammo? Ah wait, I didn't empty those yet. Ah, I didn't empty... Okay, that's a lot of ammo. Let's just get started on the process of converting... Red ammo into... Or yellow ammo into red ammo for the signs. So, I guess we don't have enough steel yet. I started smelting this a little bit late. I'm gonna need 1600 steel. Yeah. Not quite there yet, but we can start with the bottom row and just focus on getting enough for the for the signs first. So while that is smelting, I guess let's just 
filled it up again as much as we can and we can just build the, the military science assemblers. Or actually maybe we can first focus on producing some gun turrets. That is actually a pretty good idea as well. And for that we're going to need a lot of iron gears. Because I think we will have to maybe build some defenses on this side before they before they send in the attack. 126 in 10 minutes. And this curve is all from dead by the nest, so I guess that's already over 300 pollution they absorbed. Yeah, we, we need to not wait at all, I don't think. Let's just get out. Let's start production of these gun turrets, though. Alright. And we can fill one more pass of copper into these. And then we probably need to prioritize uh, putting some defenses up before they eat through our power plants or our labs or our chests here. Oh man, I... So where are they going to come actually? There are so many parts, man. They could go around, they could go through the forest, just really through the forest around here. I think we need to defend everything. So if they come here, this should stop them. I guess here is like a nice passageway through the forest, so let's put some turrets here as well. They are likely to go for the power plant because it's the one of the polluting one of the polluters, big polluters, the boilers. I don't think they can come here, but man, it's our lab area. You need to protect your lab area. We have to protect our stone mine, especially because our stone is collected into chests here and it's pretty vital. Go a little bit down. And I guess the coal mine from the north in case they go around. Let's build a square of turrets here as well. Now that we're here, we may as well upgrade this turrets. And we may as well close the last gaping hole in our defenses over here. And while I am not expecting any attacks to come from the south anytime soon, perhaps I should protect this too, because it's a very important area. If they destroy these chests, that is a, a very big loss in resources for me. Alright, and now we're just gonna close that off by doing something like that. So with this distance, the gun turrets range overlap, so even if they are going for something inside the base, they will get shot by the turrets, get distracted and first attack the turrets, which will give me some time to react and which will initially protect my important infrastructure. So we can again do this on this side and put some more gun turrets here. Right, we have researched both those um, red-green ammo upgrades. We have not got military science up and running yet. So I think the one of the other important techs I want to go for is mining productivity one. Not only will it make my starter patches last longer, but it will also reduce pollution uh, of my iron and my coal mine because I will need less miners to fill up a yellow belt. So some of these miners will become inactive. And that means less pollution. 
So I guess I'll just place one single gun turret here. Just so they get... I don't know, maybe I should just do it decently. I just don't want to spend too much time on this. Right, so now we are almost completely surrounded. Let's fill in that last gap then near our spaceship. We want to protect our spaceship, don't we? Alright, now we are completely surrounded by gun turrets. Uh, okay, I'm... I'm going to guess they are not going to sneak through that hole. Let's go do some important stuff. Right, mining productivity one. I told you I was going to go for it, but then I got distracted. There it is. Okay, so we need to go towards oil processing, plastics. Like this. We are not going to reach that tech now, but we're going to switch to, um, to military science as soon as possible. 320. Yeah, we just need a little bit more. And then I will start that off. Meanwhile, gun turrets. And let's collect the steel. Alright, that is a good amount of steel. And then we can do another 800 steel. Can we? Yeah, we have 800 steel for another uh, line of red ammo. And I guess we want even more red ammo. We are being attacked. Where are we being attacked? Something got damaged. I didn't see where. From where did we get attacked? Something got damaged. Ah, this? No, on a spaceship. A behemoth spitter. <laughs> well, I guess it's good that I... He was exactly parting through the gap and these. Man, maybe I should uh, protect this gap then. I haven't got rampant installed yet. <laughs> they shouldn't be so smart. Alright, that is 480, which is exactly not enough. But, actually, we are not done yet. There is one more pass to go. Let's change this up for red ammo as well. And then I have just two of this ammo remaining, I guess. That's not too bad. No, it is bad. I need a little bit more. I want to protect that small gap in the, in the defenses. Now I'm paranoid. But for now, yeah, copper. And we have... Yeah, we should have enough now. That is 500 for the signs. Okay, so let's put away my iron and my copper for now. Grab my stuff. And grab this. I think we can build military signs inside of the structure. Like this. Yeah, we can. One, two, three, four, and I guess maybe one on the side. Let's just first get it started because we can. One, two, three, four, five stacks of walls, five stacks of grenades, and half stacks of half stacks of ammo. And now we are producing. Military signs. Oh, we got an achievement. Research oil processing. I guess that's an achievement. Right, but then we should stop this. And we should immediately start going for the damage upgrades. Those two damage upgrades, we want them. It will take a long time to research those because they are 60 second technologies. 
So it means a lab needs 60 seconds to process one round of science packs. On the contrary to the normal, which is only 30 seconds. Or some technologies like, um, like red chips, it's just like 15 seconds to process a pair of science packs. But uh, the, these M upgrades take uh, four times longer, 60 seconds to process uh, one round. So that is going to be pretty slow. And that is military science somewhat automated. And I am one power line short. I'm pretty sure I can sneak that from somewhere. But that is a sign we will need to make some uh, power lines. I think we have uh, a copper wire, so. And we have a lot of wood. Oh, we have a lot of copper wire. Alright, a new a new pass of copper. Now we are starting to collect for ourselves ammo. So let's plug this last gap. Probably won't be attacked here, but you never know. I'm just gonna insert all the ammo I have. All the yellow ammo. Okay, let's check uh, pollution while we walk back. And it does seem like we have started to pollute a biter spawner. Okay, it will take 400 pollution on a biter spawner before they can send the behemoth though. And I think big biters we can pretty soon we can deal with big biters. They have 8 armor. And our red ammo does 8 damage plus whatever bonus we have. So with red ammo we can already take down a big biter. But for behemoth biters we will need the upgrades. So I guess we are polluting a new nest somewhere. Maybe this one. Yeah, I think it's this one or this one. That could be both. These ones are still the spitters. I'm pretty sure there's biter nests here as well, but we must be exactly lucky that in these chunks are spitter nests. We can find out later once we start uh, going for that. Right, another pass of copper, but these are done actually. I think I want to make more ammo than what I have prepared now. And anyway, we have time because we need to wait for damage 4 before we go and attack. We have 94 gun turrets. Actually, so we researched all red decks and I still have 95 science packs left over. So this is an empty science pack, 0% remaining. Let's get rid of that. So, technically, we could make 5 more red science packs and 100 green ones and just add them to the system. Then we have an equal amount of red and green science packs. So let's make 5 red ones here. And I'll we'll make 100 green packs um, in these two. Once the power lines have uh, finished, so I don't need that many power lines, I don't think. And I should get rid of the rails. Oh, I have rails in my inventory. Alright. Then we can do green science packs here. All my inserters, so I will need to make new inserters. That's gonna make 100 green science packs. And 100 red science packs. Alright, yeah, so science is slowly starting to back up, it seems. Even green science, which is the slowest, is the labs are not fast enough to process science at the same speed it is uh, being produced right now due to the 60 second pack. I do think we are going to make. Another set of uh, another set of ammo. I want more ammo. All right. Yep, 
Yeah, we are producing at a decent speed again. Let's uh, make uh, a more another round of steel to make more ammo. Two more chests of iron into ammo. Okay, we need uh, one more pass with copper on this one. Alright, I think I want to make a little bit more ammo. Maybe just like two stacks. It is slightly annoying to deal with these chests. I probably maybe should invest in some fast inserters so it doesn't get spread out over all the chests so much. Right, so I guess this is finished now after this uh, horrible stuff. So that's another 16 stacks of steel that we need. So we're going to need to smelt even more iron. Let's just smelt as much as we can. So the nice thing about this 8 wide setup I forgot to mention is you can exactly reach the assembler. But you cannot reach the anything behind it. So I cannot accidentally insert uh, something I don't want while I walk this vertical line here. Also, I should probably invest in some lights for around my base. What is that iron? Electronic circuits. And copper wire. We have a lot of copper wire, I think. Okay, so I have a little bit of ammo for my, in my personal gun. And I want to have yellow ammo in my gun, because it's, it doesn't matter. So actually... Let's switch that out for a red ammo. At the moment we do 8 plus 3.5 is 11.5 damage. But if I put it in my gun, I do only 8 plus 1.6 damage. Because the gun turrets get the bonus twice on my machine gun, my machine gun just once. So even with uh, the last, even with ammo upgrade 4, I still won't be able to manually do much damage to behemoths. So I might as well just use yellow ammo. I'm only planning to, to use it to lure them anyway. I'm not really planning to use it uh, like really offensively. Alright, some lights. Yeah, it has been a long time coming. I should have done that earlier, especially for the YouTube. Just uh, building lights does not really do anything for the goal of uh, the there is no uh, time for chit chat playthrough for that goal. But this uh, does help a lot. I can maybe even put something between the chests here. And then our main area is lit up. The labs look nice by themselves. The furnaces look nice by themselves. Here we'll be spending most of the time. So I guess that's... Uh, that's all right. So let's keep a stack of lights on us as well. Ah. All right. Okay, so now we only have constructables on us. 
That means we cannot even handcraft anything by mistake, even if we wanted to. So we won't fail the lazy bastard achievement. I should be a little bit more vigilant about that. I think uh, we can uh, start off our our next round of production on the ammo. We have a lot of copper again. Five chests, and now we are being attacked again. Two different locations. And they have uh, managed to exhaust. So here, here does the, the anti-splash damage come in. No, don't kill the spaceship! Don't kill the... Don't kill the spaceship. They kill the spaceship. <laughs> no, not my spaceship. Okay. Well, that is an example of horrible defense, I guess. I thought myself safe because I placed a few scrappy gun turrets with some crappy yellow ammo, but unfortunately the opposite seems to be true. So... Yeah, I deserve that lag, don't I? So since this looks to be their favorite location, that is a lot of lag though. Where is that coming from? I have no idea. Let's insert actually some red ammo in here. Alright, since this is their favorite attack location. And just to reinforce this a little bit, I guess. These haven't been shooting, actually. I don't think. Oh no, they did some damage. This one. Alright. I guess that means we can s square out this one. <laughs> because the spaceship is no longer in the way. Poor old spaceship. Alright, projectile damage 4 is incoming though. Now we do 8 plus 7.6 damage, which is 15 and a half. So at this moment we can slightly tickle the behemoth biters with 3 damage per bullet. Our science has finished. So let's distribute that as well. Be careful not to mess up the system. I can't believe they took out my spaceship, man. I like my spaceship. I still haven't started producing this red ammo. I should maybe hurry up with that a little bit. Is that 16 stacks of steel? It is... It is 16 stacks of steel. Alright, and then we just need 80 stacks of copper. Over the course of the next several minutes. Okay, so let's invest in some fast inserters. That we're going to need to make. Let's uh, make some normal inserters. And I guess some fast inserters. Let's just do it up here. And some long handed ones. And we need some iron plates and some iron gears. See, these need iron plates as well. And these need iron plates as well. What are we missing? Iron plates. Alright, so yeah, we had only seven inserters left. Right, we can do another pass of copper. So basically, we just have the time to kill until we research 
physical projectile damage for. At that time I want to be there to start the attack. Alright, so now we have some fast inserters and we can do this. And that should keep our iron plates from traveling so far down the down this chest so it will be a lot easier to do this sort of inventory management all right So that is a good bunch of inserters to keep on us. Why we have only 50 of those? I thought I made 100. Did I not make 100? Apparently not. So let's put the surplus away. Can go for another pass of copper. Let's see how much ammo we have produced. Meanwhile, 1.6k. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know how much ammo we're going to use against Behemoth Blighters. We will do probably like 7 damage per bullet. So that's like 70 damage per magazine. Let's say 60, including healing. So we will need 50 magazines to take out a single behemoth biter and there's gonna be not a single behemoth biter. So yeah, that's going to be in the high hundreds to maybe even more than a thousand, I don't know. It's gonna be a lot. All right. Are all these empty? Yeah, all of those are empty. So what else we can do? We can maybe start preparing to take oil at some point. We need uh, six pump jacks. So that is 30 steel. And then some iron gears, some electronic circuits, and some pipes. I guess we're gonna need a lot of pipes as well. Maybe we should make some pipes. And we can do another pass of copper. One more and then that is done. Let's make some pipes. Then we need maybe oil, oil refineries. One set of stone bricks. And again pipes. Ah, we have pipes. Alright, and that is six pump jacks. This is ten oil refineries once we insert more steel. And I guess we're gonna need some chemical plants as well. Then we're gonna need some more steel. Anyway, we're going to need some more steel, so let's make some more steel. No, maybe actually... Maybe actually we can make one more batch of science instead of overproducing steel at the moment. Right, six pump jacks. Let's make an oil chest. This is going to be our oil chest. Six pump jacks. Let's make some of those. We need iron gears. I'm not sure we have time to finish this though. Okay, we have a lot of pipes now. Pipes are also good for when we go take out those nests. We need to protect against enemy expansion in that area after we take out the nests. Okay, let's not do that many. We just will do it here. 
Let's see, half of those, like pipes and then gears we can take. Here. Ten refineries and then we can make, that will make 40 of those, I guess that is enough. We also will need uh, some water pumps, I guess. Not too many, but I'll just make a couple for the rest of the game. And I guess some radars would be nice to have as well. Seventy-two percent. Everything is still going smoothly. And red ammo is done. How much do we have? We are attacked again. This time at the stone mine, but it was a small attack. It's like two, ah no, actually a behemoth spitter. Ah, they were in the crossfire of two blocks. This is the extra one I built. Maybe it's good that I built it. A behemoth and two big ones. All right, but so attacks are ramping up quite heavily now. I guess that will show in the pollution graph. Yeah, that does show in the pollution graph. Also, behemoth biters, but the biter spawners are starting to absorb more and more pollution, it looks like. Not yet to uh, dangerous levels, but uh, yeah. 2.6k ammo. That's, is that enough turrets? Let's make some more turrets. Let's have 40 more turrets. And uh, 80 more turrets. The only thing I wonder is, should I make one more batch of red and green signs before I go, because this is almost empty. I think I should do that, so we can keep researching while we are out. I think we can survive one or two more attacks, even though it is ramping up quite hard right now. So let's also put some of those pipes in there. And some of those pipes I can put in here. The pumps are for the oil. These are for the oil. And we have run out of coal in our furnaces. All right. Okay, let's get these gun turrets. All of them are done. Do we even have enough for producing signs? Okay, so let's just put this stuff aside. How much iron plates do we have? Yeah, I think that's we have almost enough. I think we have enough to do one more batch of signs. So then first we do make a lot of iron gears. So 1600 for red signs, that is this. How much do we still have? 200, that's not a lot. Then... I think 1600 again. For... Inserters. And then 800 for belts. Right, the damage upgrade is in. I guess let's just continue researching back on the path towards mining productivity. Alright, then we have one and a half chest of iron remaining. I just need to be a little bit careful that I don't overproduce now because I barely have enough resources.
I think we need to make uh, electronic circuits first, right? Let's do that. 3200. Okay, I'm a little bit in panicky mode now because I fear strong attacks. How much do we need? 1600, right? That is just like like this. We don't need to make more green circuits at this very moment. Yeah, just like that. Grab half a chest of iron. And then this is all the iron we have remaining. One more chest, alright. I think we're gonna be alright. Right, once those are done, we can start our quest for... ...of science. 1600 of those again. 1600 of those. I think we'll need a little bit more of... Ah, we still have more. Alright. Again, we are attacked. Another behemoth, big one and a medium one. All right, we need to hurry up, man. Okay, so again, two rows of inserters and one row of belts. This is enough green chips. We do not have enough iron gears. I think uh, something went wrong when I was making iron gears. Let's be sure we got everything from these. If there is still something left. Yeah, that is enough. Exactly enough. A full stack of iron gears and all of those, and then just a full stack of iron, and then we're producing everything. All right, let's get that back. And we can put that back as well. As well as this. Now we just need to collect this stuff. Let's grab half of the red sign stuff. We can already distribute that. So this means we can keep researching while we are out there trying to take out these behemoths. Uh, that is the reason why I wanted to complete this first. First half is ready. And while the second half produces, we can already... Okay, green signs was not completely caught up yet. Right, we're almost ready. And we can take all of this stuff and then we'll head out. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I'm thinking of reasons to postpone, further postpone taking them on. But it's even becoming day, so we really have to go now, then we can do it in the daytime. These ones have it, these ones have it. Okay, these ones and these ones. And that's another 1600 science packs for each of those. Okay then, we are ready. <laughs> I wish we were not ready, but we are. We can even like grab a stack of coal for our car, maybe two. Okay, I'm gonna make a save in case I screw up massively. But we are heading out. Let's take our car. Let's repair our car. And let's go. 
Now I want to get rid of the rest of the spaceship as well, now that they... Hooey oi oi, man. <coughs> Alright, so the nests we are going to take out now are easy mode. These guys have behemoth worms in them, in combination with behemoth biters and behemoth spitters. And it's a fairly sizable expansion as well. Here there should just be small worms, so this should just be easy mode. There's a lot of biters and spitters running around, but all the worms are small worms, so they won't kill us immediately. <sighs> Alright. Okay, so... Maybe I could come from here, actually, but I don't like attacking to the south, because my inventory bars just block too much vision. So let's uh, attack from the south side. I need to make a fallback point. I think I maybe want to make a diagonal fallback point. Let's first put some ammo in these, so at least we have something if they attack. clicking like no tomorrow. Let's put that over here. I don't know how many gun turrets I should place, but probably a whole lot. Let's go for a straight edge a little bit. So, yeah, this is taking a little bit of time, but I want not too much ammo in these guys. Alright, I guess I could put my walls on there. So now I'm going to lag again. Okay, I'm going to pause. 3, 2, 1, click. Alright, I had to pause for a bit because my game was lagging out already. So now we're going to abuse a nice other, other mechanic of the walls. If only I would be accurate with my mouse. Okay. So we have a deconstruction planner for the walls. So what we are going to do now, normally you would maybe build some dragon to design like this so that they cannot get through but you don't need to do that if you don't have bots at least you can just deconstruct the walls and then we can walk through between the walls but uh, they cannot or at least that is the plan so let's put a distraction turret maybe in front of here and maybe one here for the behemoth biters so they can trigger on that one so now I do not want to trigger all of these guys at the same time if I can avoid it. Oh yeah, they're coming. Oh, he's after me. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Two bites and I'm down to half health. Man, that's uh, kind of rough. I need to be a little bit careful. Let's get some more guys. Yeah, those behemoth biters are super, super fast. Okay. Good, let's get some more guys. Oh, I'm standing in the b b biter spit. Let's retreat to the safety of my... Luckily we're healing quite fast. Alright. Okay, now I go I'm going to take out... I was planning to take out the nest, but the behemoth biter thwarted my plans. And it's again night time. Now we can do it though. Yes, that nest is gone. Let's retreat. And I think I should probably be... Oh, they are going for the attack on my base. See if we can maybe intercept them. Because that's a lot of uh, spitters. Okay, I think they're coming. Oh, 
Okay, we intercepted them successfully. Should I build that a little bit more close by? Or should I just leave it here? Maybe I can leave it here. I think I can draw out all the enemies and then just run past them. Oh, that's a lot of enemies though. <laughs> Man, that's a lot. I think I have to rebuild it a little bit closer. Anyway, it's night time. So I'll just quickly time lapse deconstruct this and construct a new backline. Right now we just deconstruct that wall again so we can pass through. Oh, that's a lot of guys, dude. No, I, that's a lot of guys. The Behemoth Biter is coming for me again. <laughs> right. Let's go lure another one. Come on. Okay, all those guys are away from the nests now. Let's do another tactical loop around. Okay, those are all gone. I guess that will bring in those guys. Ah, they're after me. Okay, now I just need to be quick. Okay, it's only spitters. Ah, it's only spitters. That is good. Let's have them distracted and we go take out this. <laughs> and we did it. Whew, what a battle. What a battle. Man, oh man, oh man. Behemoth biters at pre-oil level of technology. What we did, let's check out some stats. How much guys did we kill? We killed 32 big spitters, we killed 18 behemoth spitters and 8 behemoth biters <laughs> along with 11 and 32 big ones. We killed 6 small worms, only small worms in these nests. So yeah, the real challenge is yet to begin against the combination of those and behemoth. We lost our spaceship, oh man. <laughs> and there uh, are some gun turrets but we don't care about that. That should mean the Pollution absorption of enemy nests again should have dropped down sharply and it did again. But again not to zero it seems like. So what are we polluting then? Maybe it yeah, looks like these guys are now already starting to be polluted. So yes, take get rid of one problem and the next one begins. That is how it's going to go. Our furnaces still have enough coal. So that means we can start laying some pipes. So let's make another blueprint. Get rid of all of this stuff, only keep the pipes. And we should snap that to a grid, I guess. It should be a 64 grid, but it's a little bit unwieldy, I think, to have a 64 grid. Now we can just align this and we can place the blueprints from the map view which makes it a lot easier Good. and now all these pipes should be lined up perfectly yes they are so let's check out the expansion chance now the nests are gone it is still quite low because all of my entities are here so we will leave that up construct the pipes and only then take down our turrets so yeah I guess this is going to be another quick time lapse Actually, I can do this in my car. So this probably won't be look too good on the time lapse because I need to zoom out every time I drive. So in order to make sure I don't run into an enemy expansion. Holy moly, that is a 
giant nest. Alright, so that is the pipe laying finished. I didn't get in the forest, but that's alright. Pretty soon, well, I guess there are expansion chunks here as well, but there's a lot of stuff nearby. I got a little bit sidetracked with my pipe laying. I went out too far to this side, but uh, oh well. So yeah, I really would like to get bots, especially for the job of deconstructing the gun turrets and the walls and also perhaps constructing that defense maybe i should have made a blueprint before i deconstructed all of this but oh well the pipe laying is done these nests have been taken out and i guess it's time to go back to the base almost we still have 15 coal in them so let's we may lay some more pipes around here before we will actually head back to the base. I saw that just in time on the map, <laughs> almost ran straight into those guys. That would be pretty bad because I don't have anywhere to run to basically. That is not going to happen either. Yeah, so I said earlier, I, at some point I want to turn this expansion area red as well. So let's work on that. Protect our iron, maybe protect our oil a little bit, and then we'll head back to the base. So this one is not gonna happen, but we can do a lot of work. And I guess we can maybe just insert some bullets in the car so we can shoot the trees which are in the way instead of chopping them all. Oh, 
<laughs> I mean, it's a nest without behemoth worms, man, but it's a lot of nests. Oh, here in the south, this one as well. Yeah, that one's not gonna happen. That's a new one, I think. Uh, that was a little bit close. So yeah, we should we should probably just shoot the uh, protect this area then, because that is a new expansion, I think, the one to the left. So we may already be a little bit late protecting this area. Yeah, that one, I don't want to do it, it's too close by. But here on the iron, I think we can place a lot of uh, stuff. There's, there's a nest in the south, where is it? It is there. Okay, then I can place this. Alright, we don't have that much more pipes, actually. So maybe we should be happy with just two more blobs. Yes, maybe it will be this one. And perhaps one over here in this green area. How is that looking? I guess that's looking okay. We have one more blob left over. Actually, yeah, you know what it is time for. You know it. We couldn't take you out before, but now it is time for our revenge, man. You are going down. Yes. <laughs> nice. Goodbye. We have gotten our revenge on those guys. Alright. Now not walk through this asset because I'm still dead if I walk through that asset. And I guess uh, these guys we are going to keep around. You should have a bit better reaction, dude, if you want to uh, have a shot at killing me. Oh, lights. Nice. Right, so we are back at the home base. Actually, we didn't check out how much uh, ammo it cost us to take out those nests. We spent 500 ammo making signs. So that means we spent about 500 magazines to take out this uh, single nest cluster over there. So that's a pretty expensive ordeal as every magazine costs 14 resources. So that's um, 7,000 plates disappeared. Right, so not too bad, not too bad. We survived, we didn't get hit too much. Except by that big biter who bit a hole for body off. Let's uh, switch off those expansion chunks for now. So meanwhile, how is it going with pollution? We are just slightly polluting uh, spawners. Electric mining drill pollution is going down. Actually, yeah, we, I guess coal is going down and we finished mining productivity one at some point, which should mean some of these are now inactive. Yeah, this one is inactive, this one is sometimes inactive so that is what the 10 percent mining productivity does these have run out so these are all active still <laughs> man these have run out already huh we need to replace them at the start of the next episode science is still going though i forgot to research stuff but it is not a problem 
because our labs can research faster than we can produce if we are not researching these 60 second technologies. So I guess let's go towards the modular armor, which we can research, portable solar panel, which needs normal solar panels, and the personal battery, which needs normal batteries, which needs sulfur, I guess. <laughs> And of course the energy shield equipment. Where is it? It is here. Which will take another 150 signs. Once I can get my hands on this energy shield, then I will feel a lot better. I can insert four of those into the modular armor. That will probably help a lot with um, not being insta-killed by behemoth worms. But of course, before we can do that, we need to have uh, red chips, which means we need to take control of that oil. So that's going to be the focus of the next episode, is getting oil up and eventually also getting blue signs. But yeah, that was this. That was it for this episode. We took out our first behemoth biters and our behemoth biter bases. So from now on the future is looking a little brighter, although we only have nine and a half hours remaining for no time for chit chat. So yeah, let's see how that goes next time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.